What's going on guys, this is Max, and today I'm going to show you how you can install Android um, on your HP touchpad, and the version that we're going to be using is CM9, also known as Ice Cream Sandwich, and as of the end of February, this is the latest release um, for Android for the touchpad. So what you want to do first of all is download the files, and I put them all in a zip file so you guys won't have to download them all individually. Um, so you're going to want to download this, the link will be down in the description, and then once you um, extract them, they'll turn to this folder right here. Inside you'll find the Acme Installer 2, you need the, sec the new version which is the 2. GApp so you can connect to um, Google and uh, Gmail. Moboot so you can dual boot, and then Novacom Installer you'll need. Um, this is the actual Android um, CM9, and then this is just to back up your touchpad. So what you want to do, first of all, is have, make sure you have Java installed, and if you don't, just go to Google and type in Java, it's really quick. And then you want to install the Universal Novacom installer right here. It'll automatically detect your um, operating system, so make sure that's right, and then all you want to do is hit Install Novacam, and then hit Download. Okay, once that's done, um, you want to go and make sure that it's it did install, so you want to go to computer, and then your local disk, program files, and then it should be um, called palm, comma, space, inc, right here. And inside you'll find Novacom D, a folder, terminal, another folder, and then the application Novacom. So then what you want to do is drag over the Acme installer, or better yet, just make sure you copy it so that you have the um, leave the folder intact. Then you just want to paste that in there. Alright, and that's it for now for that. Then you want to connect your touchpad to your PC. So make sure you have the correct USB cable and make sure that it works uh, well and doesn't disconnect because that could be an issue later on if you try when you try to install it. So I just plugged in my touchpad, and I'm just going to give it a second. You want to hit USB drive on your touchpad in case you didn't know it. That way you can um, look at the files and folders on your touchpad on your computer. Then you want to go to, uh, just kidding, It'll if it doesn't um, autoplay, then just go to computer and find your touchpad. But you want to go to open folder to view files, and then in the root right here, as soon as you open it up, as you can see up here it just says HP Touchpad F and nothing behind it. Create a new folder and call it CM install right here. S lowercase c, lowercase um, and then install. Nothing. It doesn't say installer, nothing like that. Just make sure it says CM install. You will not have this folder and make sure it's in the root. Make sure it is exactly like that or else this will not work. And then inside you want to, um, what you want to do is, oh, my touchpad just disconnected for some reason, so that's an issue. Alright, open folder again. We'll go to CM install. And then what you want to do is um, copy G apps. We'll just copy them, select them all at the same time. G apps, Moboot, Clockwork, which is the tender line right here, and then the actual CM9 file, and copy them. And paste them inside CM install. Make sure that they are all still in their zip um, files because the actual installer, the Novacom installer, will unzip them itself later and this will not work if you unzip them first. So make sure you leave the, the, those four files zipped. I'm just waiting for it to transfer. Just a few seconds left. Okay, and then once once that's done, you just want to eject your touchpad. So in case you guys didn't know how to do this, it's just, just right-click on it here in my computer and hit eject. Because your touchpad doesn't like to be um, disconnected without being ejected. So, uh, did it not eject? Okay, so it's because it's in use. So you guys just want to close this and then... Okay, now it can be safely removed from the computer. There we go. So you want to um, eject that and disconnect it from your computer. And then what you want to do is open CMD or Command Prompt. All you do is you hit open the Start menu and type in CMD. Hit Enter. Now, I can put this down in the description later, but you want to hit CD 
and then a forward slash. And then you want to type in CD program files, enter, and then CD palm, co palm comma space ink. As you can see now it says C program files palm ink. Now type in DIR, which stands for directory, and that'll show you all the uh, files in that folder. And then as you can see it'll say it'll show the Acme installer, novacom.exe, and then the two, two folders that we saw before. And that's perfect. That's, if you don't have those in there, um, go through the video again and start from the beginning because you're going to need those um, files. Now, once um, go back to your touchpad, and I'll actually um, I'll record this on my iPhone so you guys can see. Hold on, give me one second. And I'll just put this video in there. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to your touchpad, and you're going to want to put your touchpad in recovery mode. So you do this by, first of all, you want to turn it on. Here, I'm just going to turn up the brightness a little more so you guys can see better. And then you want to go to um, settings. As you can see, it says settings. And then, I'm not sure why it's not focusing. Sorry, I don't know if it's going to focus or not. But you want to go to settings and then device info, which is the top right hand corner right here. And then go to reset options, which is the red button on, down here. And then you're going to want to hit the top. It says restart. And then as soon as it actually starts uh, to restart, you want to hit the volume up button, which as you can see on the side, I don't know if you can see that actually, there's two buttons. Yes, that's the volume slider. And this is the top and this is the bottom. You're going to want to hit, hold, hit and hold the top, so the increase volume button. Okay, so let's do that. Let's hit restart. And then it'll say restarting up there. And then as soon as it actually, as soon as the screen turns black, you want to hold that right there. As you can see, there's the um, the loading screen, and we're still holding it down. And you you're, you're going to want to see this. If this is not right, you're going to have to restart your um, touchpad and go through the process again. You want to be able to see this um, USB port side. And as soon as you see that, you're good on the touchpad. And then the last step uh, before you can actually start installing is you want to make sure that your computer recognizes your touchpad. So you want to connect, connect your, um, connect your touchpad to your computer. And now we're going to go back to the computer and uh, see what's going on there. Okay, guys. Now, as you can see it, down here, it says, um, oh, "Just kidding." You want to go into Device Manager. Then make sure that you see this, the Palm Novacom modules. And then if you open it up, you want to be able to see this Palm Novacom parentheses booty. Now, um, I thought it would reinstall because I wiped my touchpad clean, but um, apparently it didn't. So what happens is the first time you do this, um, down, down here in the bottom right hand corner, for me it said uh, installing the Palm Novacom booty driver. But you want to make sure you go to Device Manager and see this, because if you don't see this in your computer, that means it's not being recognized by your computer, and that means you have to change something. Um, probably just go through the instructions again in order to fix that. Okay, now we're all set to go. Now you want to go back into the control, um, into the CMD, and type in. Make sure you're still in Program Files Palm Inc. And you want to type in Novacom space boot space mem m e m colon forward slash forward slash space less than space a c m e installer two uh, make sure that this right here matches this right here so if you're installing an older version of um, of android it might be acme installer one but for this make sure it's acme installer two and as soon as you hit enter, you're going to see um, things starting to happen on your touchpad. So we're actually going to, I'm going to go, uh, record my touchpad again and show you what happens when I hit enter. Okay, so there we are, as you can see. Acme installer 2, in case you guys want to close up. I don't know, you can't really see that. I'll put the um, 
we have to type in the CMD in the description, as I said. Okay, so then you want to hit enter, and then let's watch the touchpad. So I'm just going to turn it, try not to mess anything up. But as you can see, now it's um, installing everything. You should be able to see the two penguins at the top. And um, this is going to take a few minutes. It's just going to go through and um, unzip all the files, install everything. And yeah, I guess we'll just be back in a little bit when it finishes installing. Okay guys, we're nearing the end of this install and as you can see it says all steps complete and then it says shutting down and then it, now it's going to restart. And in order to um, select this you just want to hit the home button. You can scroll up and down using the um, volume control keys and then here we go, it's booting into Synergen. Sorry for that light right there. <laughs> of course the one light has to be right in the middle of the screen. But anyways, here you go. Looks pretty awesome, if I could, may say so myself. Um, while it's turning on, and then I'm just going to show you that it is Android, and I'm not going to go through the whole um, installation and setup with you, just because that's all putting in email addresses and credit card numbers and all that, which you guys don't really want to see, and it's definitely not necessary for what I'm trying to show here. I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of this startup. Okay, and here we are. As you can see, there's the little droid. It says, welcome, start, awesome. Um, yeah, you guys just want to hit start, and as you can see, it looks like an Android now. Um, it's turning on Wi-Fi, which is always good, and yeah, the rest of this installation is just going to um, consist of um, putting in your information, like your Google, your um, Gmail account and all that. You can connect to an... Uh, internet source and I'm actually hosting this internet off my iPhone right here so I'm gonna select that and yeah so there you go a <laughs> nice Android keyboard that was a tutorial of how you can install CM9 on your touchpad I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please leave them this in the comment section um, I hope you guys uh, I hope everything worked fine for you guys and if it did please like it or favorite, and yeah, have a nice day, guys, and enjoy your new Android touchpad. See ya.